what we are going to do tonight, how we are going to respond, I need you to think about this, is going to change the eternities of people in the triangle and around the world. Over the past two years, we've been on a journey together that we've called Multiply. Multiply began with the conviction that God generously gives us all the things that we have, not just so we enrich our lives, but so we can offer them back to his kingdom. And when we put what we have in God's hands, he multiplies it. The amazing thing is not that God multiplies, but that he chooses us to do it. We've always said that our primary goal with Multiply was not to raise an amount of money, but to see 100% of our people engaged in the mission of God here. God doesn't need our money, he's after our hearts. Multiply has always been about people. Multiply the number of people that can be reached in the triangle. People sent to live on mission, people who can find freedom and generosity and watch God multiply what they give back to him. Ultimately, it's about seeing lives transformed by the gospel of Jesus Christ. When God had really substantially blessed us, um, and we in turn felt a call um, to, to give, my only drawback about it was how would our children, who are now of an adult age, feel about this? Because it would impact their inheritance. And then the Holy Spirit spoke to me and said, how could they not be excited over how generous you are? Basically, you know, before giving was kind of like an insecure thing. Oh, if I give this much, how am I going to compensate for it? Now it's like you give because you love Him. You're no longer insecure. You're no longer afraid what's going to happen tomorrow. So you're fearless. We're committed to, to follow Jesus wherever he, he tells us to go. And that's the joy we find in our lives and, and want to share that joy. You know, the inconvenience of moving and whatever we stress we deal with of moving will be worth it if, if we can change one person's life, either because of Wednesday or, or hearing our story of uh, us moving our family to go there. When we have been faithful with the little amount financially or the little amount of time that we have, I think he's multiplied the rest of our lives and I would consider ourselves richly blessed. Our secondary goal in Multiply was to give $55 million toward what we believe God is calling us to here in the triangle and the world. Our vision as a church is to see the gospel multiply deeper in us and wider in our world. In the lifetime of our church, we've sent 3,153 people on short-term missions trips to the nations, with over 500 of those coming in the last year alone. 228 people are living overseas today, which brings the total number that we've sent out to right at 500. God is using us to spread the gospel to the very ends of the earth. In the last two years, we've seen God multiply the summit's influence right here in the triangle as we've opened the Alamance campus, not just one, but two locations inside our area prisons, launched the Apex Campus, and purchased land for both a future North Durham campus and a new broadcast facility in North Raleigh. That means we are now one church that meets in 11 locations each weekend. Two campuses in prisons, one campus in Spanish, but all one church. We've never been and will never be about buildings. We're about reaching people with the gospel, like Wayne and the other five men from the prison campus who were baptized this year, or JR from our Bride Creek campus, who is now making disciples in his workplace, or Aiden, a student who came to Christ at Elevate Summer Camp, or Tulsi, a new sister in Christ who was baptized at Blue Ridge. Multiply began as a two-year journey, but this is just the beginning. This is the moment we say to God, my yes is still on the table, and I'm ready for you to put it on the map. God is at work. The need is great. So let's keep giving back to God and watch as he multiplies it for the salvation of the world. There's a lot to celebrate, but the more we see God move, the more we look ahead and ask, what's next?